good. Say hi, Mike. Hello, everybody. This is Mike. With another edition of this old damn house. We're not going to call it the old fucking house anymore because we tore everything out. Everything's gone. And we're putting new stuff in. So as I progress, I will like it more and more. Come here, Jen. Let me show you something. Look over here. I think everybody remember the boards from last time and how it fell through the floor. Well, I replaced the outside boards with it piece of tree that was kind of a headache had to cut around the wires and that messy box there got some new floor joists here this one I probably should replace too but I think it'll be fine for the most part it's not rotten it was just the very top part of that and we're gonna slip this floor in here and now pretty well take care of the floor besides screwing it down now nice sandals me, Mike oh thank you speaking of that let me let me show everybody something now I know that you're supposed to wear safety shoes, but I came up with a better idea. I, th I think instead of wearing safety shoes, you know, around sawzalls, you can just wear sandals and then those expensive boots that, you know, everybody has you to buy, like your regular contractors and stupid bosses and stuff like that. So, you know. You'll save a lot of money this way, and you won't cut your boots whenever you catch your toe on the sawzall, or slip while you're while you're uh, cutting some wood, and you can just cut your toe off. And insurance should take care of that if you have any. That is, but you know, Obama's gonna get everybody insurance, so so you'll be good to go. We can throw all the safety shoes and hard hats and glasses out of the way because everybody will be covered now. So that's about it. I'm going to slip these floors in here. Oh, oh, here's another thing. The toilet's going to go right in here. So I just went ahead and reinforced that. So in case I have any, like, big fat peoples come over or something like that, that I can, I can, uh, the toilet won't fall through the floor. And then and that'll just help reinforce it. Put a little treated wood around it. It shouldn't need treated wood. However, since I had a piece, I just stuck it there, so... Let's see if this piece of wood here will fit that I was noodling with a little while ago. Get rid of that nasty thing. Yeah, yeah let's see. It probably will irritate me again, but I wonder how the hell I did that earlier. It got right in and out of there. Oh, I know what I know what I did. Let's see. You gotta make sure your wood fits tight, that's for sure. The wood's too big. I told Jenny that a little while ago, but she didn't seem to think my wood was too big. Oh, there we go. Well, Jenny might be impressed with your wood. <laughs> she might be. I'm not so sure, though. I don't know who Jenny is, but okay. Oh. Jenny. Jenny. All right. That's a tight fit. I'm hoping it'll all go where it needs to, but it's a little, a little tight in that corner there, but it should go. Let's see here. You got, you got your trusty BFH. I'll take care of it all the time. Oh, come on. Stupid old house. That was pissing me off. I've got, I barely, I should be able to fit. I just got to black that over just ever so much. Stupid house. Tight. Probably not coming out of there again. As you can see, we got some issues here. Let's see. I bet your regular contractor wouldn't do it this way. And I probably shouldn't because I'm going to splinter my wood. Maybe not. Then. I think we got a pretty snug fit. You might be right. <laughs> Things are good. Well, I'm going to let you bang your wooden piece. Alright, well, thanks everybody for joining me again. I'm pretty poor, so I think next we're doing wiring, but it's going to take a while before we get to it. I'll see you all again soon.